every time I post a video using a ferrocerium rod or ferro rod or metal match, I'm told that it's better to just use a BIC. But what most people fail to realize is that a BIC is a ferro rod, a striker, and a primary tinder all just rolled into one. You can see that they have the same basic sparks, just on a different scale. The BIC just uses a little bit of butane to start your fire up a little easier. We can replicate that in large scale with a ferro rod and a butane can. Just a little bit less controlled. With a metal match, you need to use something like these feather sticks or some cotton to catch that initial spark because you don't have that butane. So let's level the playing field and get that butane out of this BIC. Here's where you add the caveat that you shouldn't do this unless you're a trained professional. Uh, somehow insinuating that I'm a trained professional when it comes to cutting lighters open with a hacksaw. Since it's plastic, there's no risk of spark here, so I know that I can dump it out, burn off the excess fuel so it's not drifting around in my garage, and make sure that it's safe for me to cut the rest of the way. There is a chance of this exploding when you do that, so again, don't do this unless you're a professional. With the bottom removed, you can see that we've got a reservoir there that we can actually stuff with cotton or other tinders so that we can use this as a small, cheap metal match out in the field. Next, I'm going to have to remove this shielding because this is what catches a spark and focuses it down onto the butane, and it lights up a lot easier if you remove that little bit of metal. With the primary tinder now gone, I can replace it with something like cotton or jute, and it lights up just fine, allowing us to use a dead lighter in the field as a makeshift fire starter. You could also just scrape this cotton off of your clothing or your towel or anything made of cotton. Don't use wool here, because wool is basically animal hair, and it will just smolder and won't light up. It's not a very good tinder, and it stinks to high heaven. What I'm doing here is wrapping that bit of cotton that I scraped off the towel in a piece of tissue paper, or in this case, paper towel, and that allows me to have a primary and then secondary tinder. And what this is called is a prison match. The story goes that in prison, when you don't have the ability to get fresh lighters, you do this exact thing to create fire in your cell. The truth with firecraft is that you can use anything to create that first ember, but if you don't prepare that wood, it's not going to light on fire. You can hold that lighter up to that log all day long and you're not going to have a nice crackling fire. I light that cotton and instantly my primary tinder starts lighting my kindling. I throw a secondary kindling on top and then I can start building up from there. Using a brace to allow air to get under the fire and I'm spreading out the fuel so that it lights really easily. This dry split wood went up so easily that I didn't even need to use my massive feather stick as a secondary tinder. Let's continue breaking down these fire starters so we can do a direct comparison between the components. I'm going to drive a nail in between the magnesium bar and the ferrocerium rod and use my little piece of hacksaw as my striker on the right. This makes it easy to see why a fire starter like the one on the right lasts so much longer. Since I made that nice feather stick, it'd be a shame not to burn it for you, so this is purely for show. As I wrap up the video, I will be doing a breakdown of how to make these feather sticks from scratch. Done properly, this can be used as a primary tinder directly from your ferro rod. However, it's best to use it as a secondary tinder. If you enjoyed today's video, hit subscribe, like, comment below. Anything that helps push this video out is greatly appreciated. Take care.